Hello everyone. This video will demonstrate how to use AfroCom automation capabilities. During the demonstration, we will use Visual Basic applications in Microsoft Excel to create a simple MS Windows form with two buttons. One of the buttons will show AfroCom on the screen, and the other button will close AfroCom and allow the form. During the, dem the demonstration, we will also show you how to connect to AfroCom from outside applications. First, to access VBA, we must enable the Developer tab. To do this, just go to File, Options, and then Customize Ribbon, and check the Developer box. Okay, here's the Developer tab. It's always good to check if the macro security settings allow for macros to run. To go, so go to Macro Security and make sure enable all macros is selected now let's go to visual basic and to connect VBA to AFGRO we need to go to tools and references and make sure AFGRO is checked next we need to insert a user form go to insert user form and to create the command buttons go to the toolbox and select command button and drag it inside the user form now let's rename the command button so we know which one is which to select one of the command buttons and go to the properties window and we can rename command button 1 be show 1 and let's make the caption show afgrow and for command button 2 let's make this one quit one and let's make the caption quit alright just double click on one of the command buttons and open up the click events but first let's go to the glove drop down menu and select general now we need to set a variable for an afgro application you can just type in public and let's make a the variable and let's set it as an afgro dot application Next, we need to set the user form to set A as a variable every time it's activated. Just go to the left drop down menu again and select user form. And in the right drop down menu, we need to select activate. And we need to type in set A equal to create object. and then just type in afgrow.application as a string next we need to set the bshow event for this button we want it to make afgrow visible to do this just type in a dot visible and we need to set that equal to true okay next we need to go to the quit button just go to the left drop down menu again and select quit one and for this button we want it to quit afgrow and we can just type in set a equal to nothing and we also want it to unload the user form okay now let's see if this works we need to select the run button and the user form should pop up and if you click show afgrow 
it should show AFCO on the screen and quit. It should quit the user form and quit AFCO. Now let's make a shortcut key for this user form. Let's go back to the Excel worksheet and in the developer tab select macros and we can name this macro run form and then this select create and for this macro we want it to load the form and we also want the form to show up on the screen Let's go back to the Excel worksheet and select macros again. This time we need to select act options and let's make the shortcut key control A. And if I select control A, the user form should pop up and everything should work. Okay, that's all for this project. If you want to learn more about AFCO's comp capabilities, visit AFCO.net. And in the Support tab, select AFCO-related documents. And we have a COM manual and also a COM automation presentation.